popular tattoo removal clinic abruptly shuts its doors, leaving customers with half tattoos and, of course, wanting their money back. Just months ago, there were three Dr. Tadoff locations in North Texas, Fort Worth, Frisco, and Dallas. Now there are none. Brian New has been looking into the company, and he is live tonight in Dallas. Yeah, so when customers today showed up to receive their treatment, they found the clinic to be vacant. They also found this goodbye note taped to the front door. But what they didn't find and what they were hoping to is a refund. Downtown skyline. Of Dallas. All Stephanie Tigert wanted was to erase a mistake. And then the one also along my neck. Make that two mistakes she made when she was 18 years old. I just think it looks better. Not to have this on. And so she paid the Dr. Tadoff Clinic more than $2,400 up front back in December for 15 tattoo removal sessions. But when she went in for her fifth session, the door was locked, lights out, the clinics were closed. It's sad because you are trying to make a change for the better. That's why you want to get the tattoos removed. Tiger, like dozens of other customers, received an email from the company stating Dr. Tadoff had closed because of financial struggles, but is actively and diligently working to find a provider to take over treatment of all of our patients, including honoring any prepaid tattoo removal packages. But there were no other details, and calls and emails made by customers and the I team have so far gone unreturned. There was also no mention of a refund on the letter posted on the clinic's door. And if you read the fine print on the contracts, on the very last line it reads, I completely understand there is no refunding. So are people just out of luck? Well, they might be. The Better Business Bureau says customers should file a complaint with the Attorney General's office, but says it's rare in cases like this for customers to ever get their money back. I would always caution people, if you have to pay a giant lump sum for something in a package, be very, very careful because if you don't get everything or you have a dispute with the company, you may be out of luck. That's not what Tigard wanted to hear, who says the only thing that's gone away since her first visit to Dr. Tadoff is her money. I would have rather just kept the tattoo on there instead of it, you know, being patched work now. Now, if customers did pay with a credit card, there's one thing that they can do is actually file a dispute with their credit card company. And in some cases, you may actually be able to get your money back. Suing, of course, is another option, but we're told an unlikely successful one, at least in this case. Live in Dallas, Brian New, CBS 11 News.